Ahu Condos, what you need to know before buying. Aloha, my name is Du Gong and I'm the principal broker at Blueprint Real Estate Advisors in Honolulu. In this video, I'm going to discuss what you need to know when buying a condo on Oahu. Before we do that, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. If you have any questions about real estate, please reach out to me. I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Insurance. It's important for condo associations and unit owners to have the appropriate insurance to protect against losses. There are two main insurance policies for condos, association policies and owner policies. Under Hawaii law, condo associations must purchase property insurance, commercial general liability insurance, a fidelity bond, and directors and officers liability coverage, unless otherwise stated in the declaration or bylaws. The association's policy is commonly called the master policy. It covers property damage to the building's common elements, and the original, as built, individual unit construction, such as the unit's original flooring and cabinets. Insurance for individual units is not required by Hawaii condo law. However, it makes sense for owners to buy their own coverage, and it may otherwise be necessary. Mortgage companies often require that owners have insurance for the duration of their loan, and many associations stipulate that owners have insurance that covers their unit for losses not covered under the master policy. If an owner fails to obtain coverage specified by the association, the association may purchase the insurance and charge the cost back to the owner and owner's policy. The owner's policy is commonly known as an HO6, which covers unit contents, some personal belongings, and improvements, such as upgraded flooring and alterations. It can also cover any master policy deductible. When purchasing an HO6 policy, pay attention to exactly what is covered. Does it cover mold remediation? If the owner must move out for repairs to the unit, does it cover living expenses? In addition, special policies are usually required to insure against natural disasters such as floods, hurricanes, and earthquakes. There's no getting around it. Damage sometimes happens. If you're an owner, here's what you should do if your unit or possessions are impacted. First, immediately take steps to limit further damage. Second, notify the condo association via its board managing agent or site manager, your insurance provider, and the association's insurance provider. Third, take photos of the affected areas and keep receipts for any materials used to prevent additional damage. Don't wait to report loss or damage. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. Establishing liability is not necessary under the association's master policy. The association will administer the insurance claims as required by Hawaii's condo law. Leaks and water damage. Leaks and water damage in condos can happen suddenly and be expensive to fix, but there are ways to minimize problems for owners. First things first, they should act quickly and not ignore the problem because other units and common areas could also be at risk. The leak has to be stopped and fixed, and the affected areas should be inspected. A licensed plumber should be called right away. If damage is found, the owner should take photos and immediate steps to prevent more loss. The owner should tell someone like the resident manager, neighbors, or their insurance agents. Delays could actually cause more damage and cost more to fix. A lot of times associations and owners think that the insurance company needs to be notified before they can act to stop a leak and prevent additional damage. That is not the case. The owner should immediately inform the condo association about the leak and damage, preferably in writing through its resident manager board or managing agent and then notify their insurance company, which should coordinate handling the claim with the association. The owner should keep copies of all receipts for any repairs and mitigation, and also keep damaged items until an insurance adjuster does an inspection. Water will go wherever it wants to go, often unnoticed. That's especially true in high-rise buildings where other units are often affected. The association should take similar action, like immediately taking steps to locate and repair the leak and prevent further damage. Delay could lead to a big mold problem which is not always covered by insurance. And of course, the association should promptly notify its insurance company and administer the claim as required by law. Speaking of insurance, leaks and water damage are a major source of claims and different policies needed. There are two types of insurance policies. First, there's the association's master policy, the primary one, which covers the building structure, common elements, and the original as-built 
individual unit construction. Then there's the condo owner's policy, commonly known as HO6. It covers property damage in the individual unit, as well as building damage to the original as-built unit construction and improvements. This policy is often called an excess policy. Agents of the association. Condo associations often hire various employees, vendors, and agents to help run and manage the property. It helps to know who they are. Owners may be confused about who's responsible for what at their condo project. So let's take a closer look at these agents of the association and what they do. First, let's talk about the association's board of directors. Board members are owner volunteers and are elected by owners to run and govern the association. The board is responsible for taking care of the needs of the entire association and acting on its behalf to preserve and protect the condo project. Many associations hire a condo managing agent or CMA. CMAs are third-party licensed real estate brokers or authorized trust corporations contracted by the association to perform certain tasks. The CMA takes direction from the board of directors. Their scope of duties may range from simple accounting to complete management, depending on the contract. Typical responsibilities include overseeing repairs and projects, finances and accounting, and insurance and registration renewals. CMAs will assign an employee to be the liaison between the management company and the board. This person generally attends board meetings and may have one of the following titles, account executive, management executive, community manager, or property manager. If unsure, owners should check with their board to see which services their CMA is contracted to perform. Under Hawaii condo law, owners may request a copy of and examine the CMA's contract. Condo associations, however, are not required to hire a managing agent. So some associations choose to self-manage. Another agent sometimes hired by associations is the resident manager or on-site manager. This person can either be an employee of the association or the CMA. Typically, the resident or on-site manager is a familiar face around the condo who handles the physical maintenance of the properties, common elements, and conducts day-to-day non-board operations. A resident manager lives on the property in a unit provided to them by the association, while an on-site manager may live on or off property. There are also agents who handle legal matters for associations. Associations may retain or hire attorneys or law firms for various legal questions, concerns, and litigation. The attorney works for the association and not for individual owners. So it's important to understand that they take direction only from the board. Associations are generally required to have insurance that covers the association and its directors and officers. The association's insurance agent is the point of contact for these policies. Associations may hire a parliamentarian. These are experts trained in Robert's Rules of Order, a manual of procedures used to run meetings. Associations may employ a parliamentarian to facilitate certain meetings, and owners may hire a parliamentarian to represent their interests at meetings. So these are the key agents who help manage and run the condo. All right, guys, that's it for part four in this four part series. I hope you are now more knowledgeable about condos in Hawaii. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, click the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell next to that to continue to learn more about real estate on Oahu. If you're looking to relocate to Oahu, I'd love to help you out. I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.